what is square root of complex number system okay the last class we have studied what is all other properties of complex number system so today we are going to learn what is the square root of a complex number system okay and i'm very sorry that i couldn't make the video for last since uh, last in the past two or three days because i was busy kind of somewhere else so i'm sorry for that and today i'm making the video okay so we are given z is a complex number a plus i how we are going to show a complex number a plus i b a, a and b those both are belongs to a real number okay so what is a a is going to be the real part of z and b is called imaginary part of z okay so now we are going to show what are what is the root of this complex number system okay so let's take Since we are going to find the root, so a plus i the root. Generally, what we are doing is, if nine is there, what is the root? Root is what? Plus or minus three. Similarly, if, if, instead of if, since this one is a real number, but here it is we are given a complex number system. Okay. So here it is. Instead of a real number, it is given a plus i b. Instead of real number, here it is given a plus i b. So we are going to find the root of this complex number system. Okay. So. This one has to be x plus i y. So for a plus i b is equal to x plus i y. So we need to do like this. Okay. So now we are going to find what exactly this x and y so that we will get the answer. So here is root of us given. So we are going to square both sides. Okay. By squaring both sides, you have got this one. So this will become the square root and the square. That will cancel out each other. So a plus i b is equal to a plus i b equal to. We know that a plus i b, a plus i b. So a plus b. What is the formula? We know that a plus b formula is square formula is what? A square plus b square plus two a b. What is the formula? A plus b also is equal to a square plus b square plus two a b. But here instead of uh, b, here it is given x plus i. Here is given x plus i y. Okay, so instead of a, we are going to put x. Instead of b, we are going to put i y. And instead of a b, we are going to put x i y. Okay, so we know that this will be x square. See, i square is what we have studied in the first class. I square is nothing but minus one. So minus one. Minus one into y square plus this i will take on our side two into x square. So this is answer x square minus y square plus i into two x square. Okay. So x plus i is uh, i y square. We have got this one. So here we are going to write right. x square minus y square plus i into two x square. Okay. X plus i into two. Here you see this is the real part. And this one is the imaginary part. So here also this is the real part and this is the imaginary part. So we are going to segregate and write, and we have to say uh, write se uh, separately what is the imaginary part, what is the real part. So a is the real part. So a must be equal to x minus y squared. If two even okay one theorem is if a one plus i b one is given is equal to a two plus i b two. When they are equal, if nothing but if a one must be equal to a two. And b1 must be equal to b2. Then only we will say that these two complex numbers are equal. Okay, this these two complex numbers are equal whenever whenever a1 is equal to a2 and b1 is equal to b2. Same thing here. B will become what? Since i is i, i so this is my number. So 2x1. Okay. So you have got a is equal to x square minus y square. B is equal to 2x1. We know. We know that one formula we know a n square. Sorry, we know that a plus b square is equal to. We can write a minus b whole square plus four a b. This is one formula you remember. This formula we we know this formula. Okay, this is another form way of writing a plus b whole square. Okay, we are going to use this formula here to find what is x square plus y square. 
Since we are given a is equal to x square minus y square, now we are going to find what is x square plus y square. Okay? So here we will write. Okay, here I will write x square plus y square. Instead of a you write x square, instead of b you write y square. Okay? Then you put here. What is x square? What is b? Y square. Whole square plus 4 into a into b. 4 into what is a? X square. When what is b? Y square. Okay? Are you clear now? Now these things you can write x square minus y square the whole square plus 4x square y square means we know that b is equal to 2xy if you are going to make square this one b square then this will become 4 into x square into y square so I can write 2xy square ok so we know that x square minus y square is equal to a so instead of this x square minus y square I am going to replace a 2xy 2xy means b square means b square so basically x square plus y square we have got x square plus y square ok ok so here instead of writing instead of, instead of for this one I will write here x square plus y square which will go to what? x square plus y square ok ok now Suppose you are this one, this one equation and this another equation. Now you are this one, you will get a plus a square. No, no, no. This is square, okay? This is square. So x square plus y square, this will become 2 double this one. Okay? This is the answer. So here you will get this one. So now if you are this one, a square plus b square is equal to what? Y, y we can check this out. 2x square. So 2x square is equal to a plus a square plus b square. Put up. So here you will get x is equal to x square is equal to a plus a square plus b square. Put up. Plus. But we need what is x? We need x. So x must be equal to the entire root of a plus a square plus b square. These are the x. Okay? Similarly, we can get the value for y. Similarly, we can get value for what you have to do is you have to uh, what subtract this equation 2 from 1. Then you will get y is equal to you or what are this one? Okay? From your own. y is equal to you will get a square plus b square root over minus minus a. By 2. This is our y. So now we are going to find y root, right? What is a plus i in root double? That is x plus i y. Now we have found the value of what? Now we have found the value of this x and this y. So instead of x, you write. Instead of this x, we have found this x. So you write. Plus i and y. What is y? This one. Okay? So this is the answer for this. So to our a plus ib. Okay? I hope you have understood it. If you don't understand, then watch again this uh, entire video so that you will get to know how we have calculated the root over of a plus ib. Okay? Now we are going to study what is the cube root of a unit. Okay, unit means one. So we are given one. Okay. Otherwise, you can write like this answer. The power of one raised to one by two. Okay. So we have to find out what is the cube root of a unit. Suppose x equal to okay. So now we are going to cube both sides. Into three. So this three three will cancel out each other. Now x will be x cube will be 1. Okay? X cube will be equal to 1. 
Now x is q. This one, if you come to left side, it will become minus one equals zero. And we know the formula. A q minus b q is equal to this formula from the school. A q minus b q is equal to a minus b equal to a square plus a b plus b square. We know this formula. So we are going to make use of this formula here. Okay. Here our a is equal to x and b is equal to one. So one is nothing but what? One q also one. So I can I can write I can write x minus one into x. Square plus a into b, but a is what? X is this one, so x into one x plus one square one equal to zero. This also I can write. Okay, so a into b equal to zero. It means it means what? Either a equal to zero or b equal to zero. Either a equal to zero or b equal to zero. Okay. In this case also. X is equal to one. Sorry, x minus one equal to zero, or x square plus x plus one equal to zero. Okay. So here what we got? X is equal to one. This is one root. And we need to find the other two roots because this is a polynomial of degree three. So if a polynomial of degree three, then we will have three roots. I don't know in which field, but we will have three roots. Okay, now you focus on these equations. Okay, these quadratic equations. We know that if a quadratic equation is given, then how to find the roots? We know one formula. This is a quadratic formula. If this quadratic formula is there, then how to find the root x? We know the one formula. See the other formula. That is equal to this one minus b plus or minus b square. Minus four into a into c, a into c. Here it is the one by two into a. It is the formula. Okay. But here in this case, what is our a? What is b? What is c? Here in this case, our a is one, b is one, c is one. Okay. Now make use of this. Uh, uh, make use of this formula to find the root of this polynomial. So what is x? X you will get. What? X you will get. Uh, this was b is minus n minus one plus or minus b square one square minus four into a into c one into one. Okay, root of five two into a a means one one two into one. So what you are going to get? Going to get minus one plus or minus one square is what? One minus four into one into one four root of five two. Okay. So now we are going to get minus one plus or minus one minus four is equal to what? One minus four is equal to minus three. So root over of minus three by two. Okay. So root over minus three by two. Since this we know up to like uh, what is the root of a positive real number, but we don't know what is a negative real number. Okay. So here we have studied minus one root over is equal to what? I. So here also we can differentiate this like this. Uh, minus three, sorry minus minus three root of what? We can write minus one into three root of what? This will become what? Minus one root of what? Into minus three. This will become i into root. Instead of minus three root of what? We can write i into root. I am going to replace this one here. Okay? Minus y plus or minus i into root. By two. So finally, we have got another solution. This is x one. So I will write x one. This x minus one plus or minus i into root three by two. But here is a plus or minus given. So here two roots are existing. Okay. So x two will be minus one plus everything plus is one root. And x three is equal to minus one minus i into root three by two. So this is one root, this is another root, and this is the third. Root. So finally, uh, finally the roots of q root of u unit is equal to first is one and second one is here and third one is this one. Okay. I hope you have understood this one. I believe that you have understood.
if you have any doubt, again pause the video and watch it over again. Okay? So that you can understand the entire concept. So now we'll check. I believe you have understood this one. So now you have three roots. So I'm going to write down here three roots. There are three roots of unity. The roots of the cube root of unity is equal to first one is one, second one is uh, minus one plus i root three by i root two, and third one is minus one minus i root three by two. There are three roots. Suppose we will check what if we are making this square. Okay, what are, what are you getting? Let's check. Okay. Suppose x square, x two square. This one I can write like this. Now multiply, okay? Edge edge will multiplication. So the denominator will multiply each other. So this will become 4. Now this one. This is a okay. just use the distributed formula. Okay, distributed uh, property. Now you multiply this one. Minus 1 is 1, 1. This will become minus i root 3 plus not plus plus to minus 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 i root 3 again. Then my plus 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 i into i is equal to i square i square is equal to nothing but minus 1. So minus and root 3 into root 3 is equal to 3. Okay, I hope you have understood that multiplication how I have done it. Now you check here minus 3 plus 1 is equal to minus 2. So minus 2 minus minus i root 3 minus i root 3 minus 2 i root 3 minus 2 i root 3 by 4. Okay? Minus 2 minus 2 i root 3 minus 2. That's this one. So here you check 2 is there, 2 is there. So take common 2. If you take common 2, minus 1 minus i root 3 by 4. But 2 and 4 will cancel out each other. Here you get 2. So finally, what you have got? Minus 1, minus 1, minus i root 3 by 2. But we know that minus 1, minus i root 3 by 2 is nothing but x3. It means that when you are making this x square, you are getting x3. Understood? Okay? So now I will write like this. So nothing but, so x square is nothing but what? x3 x3 is what this one but x square x when we made x square we have got this minus 1 minus i root 3 by 2 it is nothing but x3 so we have found when you are making this second root square we are getting the third root okay for this cube root of unity remember that so now i will take one root is one i will take this entire value this entire value as Omega, this one, this omega, this omega, omega value is what? Minus 1 plus i root 3 by 2. This one root. And if you are making this omega square, means x2 square, omega square, we are getting what? The third one. The third one, minus 1, minus i root 3 by 2. Okay? So, for the cube root of unity, we have got 1 omega and omega square. Okay? I believe we have understood this one. So now check. Suppose we are going to add these three roots. We will check exactly what is happening. One root is what? One. Second root is omega. And third root is omega square. So now one plus omega means what? Minus one plus i root two. Plus omega square is nothing but minus omega square is nothing but minus one minus i root two. Minus one minus i root two. When we are adding this one. Check what's here, what's here. So here you will take LCM, you will get 2. So 2 it will multiply to here plus minus 1 plus i2d plus minus 1 plus i2d. 2 plus minus. I hope you have understood this one, okay? How did I operate? Now open the bracket. Minus 1 plus i2d minus plus or minus 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 1 
तो सब आइटम्स माइनस आई रूट थ्री बाय बट हियर लॉस आई रूट थ्री एंड माइनस आई रूट थ्री दे विल कैंसिल आउट इच ऑफ एंड माइनस वन माइनस वन माइनस टू माइनस टू टू दे विल कैंसिल आउट इच ऑफ सो यू विल गेट जीरो बाय व्हाट इज़ जीरो बाय टू एनीथिंग जीरो बाय एनीथिंग इज़ व्हाट जीरो सो बेसिकली वन प्लस ओमेगा प्लस ओमेगा स्क्वेयर इट पिंस व्हेन यू आर एडिंग ऑल द व्हेन यू आर एडिंग ऑल द क्यूब रूट ऑफ यूनिटी दैट वी आर गेटिंग जीरो दिस इज़ द वन ऑफ़ द मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंट प्रॉपर्टी यू हैव टू रिमेम्बर बिकॉज़ इन एग्जामिनेशन वी वी आर गोइंग टू To solve the problems, okay? And we will see this one. Okay, I will give you a solution. What if you are going to what? What if you are going to multiply all these roots? Let's see what happens. One into omega into omega square. When you are multiplying this one, you will get answer one. One omega into omega square is equal to omega cube is equal to one. Okay? One plus omega plus omega square is equal to zero. Is the summation of all the cube root of unity is equal to zero, and the multiplication of the cube root of unity is equal to one. We want to solve the problem omega square minus omega plus omega cube is equal to zero. Answer not zero exactly. We need to solve. Okay, what exactly is this? So we are going to make use of this above formula that we have found out in the previous slide. Just before some time, we find out what is exactly this relationship. So we are going to use of this relationship to find the answer for this one. So here we need is what is omega cube? Omega cube is nothing but one. So instead of omega cube, I am going to replace omega square minus omega plus one. Okay. And what is this? One plus omega plus omega square is equal to zero. So we need what? We are going to break this side. Minus omega plus one plus omega square. What is one plus omega squared? One plus omega squared. We can find out from here. Okay, one plus omega squared is equal to minus omega. So I'm going to replace this one plus omega squared here instead of another one. So minus omega minus omega is equal to minus two. This is our final answer. Okay. I will give you another this one. If you like this video, if you like this video, please do share. subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell icons okay